Hi Virgo, it's Maria, InsightfulAstrology.com. Welcome to your October monthly forecast. Getting these out to you early. I want you to really process the information, which I know a Virgo appreciates. Time to analyze, right? This is an interesting month, guys. We are heading right into a Venus retrograde cycle. Venus is the planet of love, money, self-worth. Venus is what we value. So a Venus retrograde cycle occurs once every 18 months in a different area of your chart. And if it plugs into some of your personal planets, definitely will be a life-changing event. I can't tell you that without looking at your chart. But what I'm going to tell you about now is absolutely relevant if your sun or rising sign is in Virgo. Okay? So for you guys, Venus is going to retrograde on October 5th in your third house of communication, siblings, short distance travel. This is where you, you think, learn, this rules sales. So if you are in the communications or sales business, don't panic if you notice that things have slowed down a bit. They might not, it, October might not feel <clears throat> like it's going to be as profitable as a month for you. But what, what you should be doing during this month is if you're in sales, go back and recontact old customers. Try to re breathe new life into those relationships because that could be very profitable for you. If you are a writer in the communications industry and there's some kind of communications project that you either did in the past that you want to do like a part two or you never completed in the past and you want to revisit it, this is the time to do it because you're actually going to find great joy in that. Venus is what you love. And I feel like you, what you would love to do during this Venus retrograde cycle is go back to something in the past that's third house related. And in doing that, you, you can create something beautiful and profitable down the road. Okay. So for some of you guys, oh, the third house rules siblings and we got to talk. I'm going to keep it real. Scorpio is dark and deep. And there's some situations here, potentially, for you if you have any siblings. If you and a sibling have been on the outs, like really bad relationship, this might bring you back into contact for some reason. Maybe it's because something's going on with one of your parents and you have to be in contact with them. Maybe you, one of you just reaches out because you want to try to heal the relationship. Or maybe <laughs> one of you reaches out because you want to make the other person's life miserable all over again. <laughs> it really depends on your situation, okay? I'm not laughing, obviously. I'm not making light of, of hard family situations. I'm really not. I'm trying to help you see that whatever situation you find yourself in with a sibling in October, you're in that situation for one of two reasons, because you have an opportunity now to heal it, really heal it. And the only way to heal it is to get deep into that dark, ugly mess that caused the problem. Brutal honesty, radical, radical honesty. The other alternative is that you're going to decide completely once and for all that you have to cut ties. This is a toxic relationship, even though it is a family relationship. This could be a sibling. This could also be a cousin. And this could also be a neighbor of yours, third house energy, okay? Um, and, and I'm all about peace in the family. I really am. I have Saturn and Mars and Cancer. I'm a Taurus. I'm a very home, family-loving person. But I do recognize that sometimes there are situations where it is so deeply unhealthy for us to be connected to a certain family member that we have no choice for our own well-being and our own sanity but to remove ourselves from that connection. And if that's you and your situation, you may decide that you have to do that in, in October. But of course, I'm hoping for healing. So I hope that it goes in that direction. Now, Venus is retrograde in your third house this month, but next month, 
she'll retrograde into your second house of earned income. So there'll be a different story next month with Venus retrograde. But um, for now, that's where you're at. There will be a new moon on October 8th in your second house of earned income. And that new moon very strongly suggests a burst, a brand new opportunity for money, money-making endeavor, monetize a skill, you know, looking for a raise, looking for ways to increase your, your earning power. I do have to tell you that even though this is an opportunity new moon, there's going to be a delay to whatever money, you know, you seeing the actual profit because Venus is retrograde. And Venus does rule Libra. So this new moon is ruled by retrograde Venus. So that does mean that there's going to be some kind of a delay. Now, the other end of this is that you choose to go back to an old way of making money and you're breathing new life into it. And that would actually work. That, I don't think there will be a delay because you're working very specifically with Venus retrograde in that case. Okay. So still, this new moon... I feel like if you have kids, there's a big expense coming connected to a kid right after this new moon. And I say that because the new moon is square Pluto, which is now in your fifth house of children. A creative project might also cost you a bundle. If you just started dating someone, your boyfriend or girlfriend might cost you money somehow. I don't know if they're asking you for money or if you feel like you have to buy their love. I hope that's not it. But it's there's, there's this pull from Pluto in the fifth house saying, yeah, you can have this new money-making opportunity, but I'm going to take it, okay? I'm not sure how that's going to work out. Listen, in a really bad situation, if you're in a, if you're dating someone that you don't trust, that person might take money from you, so watch out, okay? Now, going back to communications for a minute, Mercury, the planet of communication, your ruler, is going to go into Scorpio and your third house. And what will happen is on the 15th, Mercury links up exactly to that Venus retrograde. So at that point, there could be an important conversation, an important renegotiation of a contract, important decisions that have their roots in the past, a past conversation, a past contract that's up for renewal. And that's going to be good. All right. That's definitely going to be good if, if that applies to you. I like that energy. Now let's talk about the full moon on October 24th. For those of you who are involved in a legal situation, there could be an unexpected turn of events at the full moon with this legal situation. And Uranus is right next to this full moon. So that means it could go either way. That means it's sudden. That means it's just like, what? What's this? Then this full moon is, is quite complicated because on the one hand, it's right next to Uranus saying there's going to be a sudden event. It's opposite Venus, retrograde. The event might cost you money. But then it's making a beautiful link to Saturn in your fifth house of creativity and love and children. So there could be some kind of release of a creative project at that time. And you might be releasing it on a broad level because the ninth house is international, it's you know, advertising, publishing, broadcasting. So you might be releasing a creative work at that time. And you might expect it to profit wildly, but there's a delay attached to it. Or there might be a huge initial spike and then a lull. That's possible as well. Communications are definitely going to be shaky and unsteady between October 24th and the 31st for you. It just has to be because that full moon is active and then the Venus-Uranus opposition across your communication axis happens on the 31st. This is unexpected news that might throw you for a loop. And this unexpected news might have to do with your love life or your financial life. Again, it might also connect to a legal matter could be an educational pursuit, an international project that you might be working on. That's the ninth house end of it. But 
I get the sense that, you know, it's almost like a crazy conversation needs to happen. It's like a chaotic message, a chaotic conversation. And maybe you're the one who's been trying to keep quiet, keep it hidden, whatever it is that you want to say, or maybe it's the other person, but it's going to come out. It, there's this outburst. It, it is a burst of communication. It's like, like you had duct tape over your mouth and suddenly someone rips the duct tape off and all systems go, you're going to stay, say what you want to say. You're not going to hold back. And it will serve you well, ultimately, because whatever this is, it needs to be said. It needs to be discussed. It needs to be talked about. So don't be afraid to have conversations, but I will say, try to be tactful if you're the one initiating it, because other people might be quite rattled <laughs> at your delivery. And again, it could be vice versa, that you're the one who's going to be rattled at someone else's delivery and have to deal with the aftermath of it. But all you can control is you. You can't control other people, right? So Virgo, interesting month. Lots of communication chaos, but also communication breakthroughs are possible for you. And I hope you enjoy October. There's definitely some financial potential here that's, that's brewing. But there's a little delay here with it. And I will see you in November. We have a lot of changes in November, even more than October. But 